Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Euclid Throne Ultra. We're going to jump in this time as the Weapon Smith, who's kind of interesting. Starts with a random weapon mod. I like the idea of that. And enemies drop more weapons. You get lower tier weapons, but you combine and upgrade weapons, which sounds kind of interesting. As for our skins, we have combined two golden weapons, sounds kind of interesting, and add four mods to one weapon. Both of those seem pretty reasonable. Uh, let's jump in. I'm excited to see what we got going on here. We started out with, um, I believe that's fire as our mod. And then, yeah, I'll, I'll have to see how combining weapons works. Obviously, getting lower tier weapons early on is going to be a little rough to start with. Um, but, okay, I think we've got explosive, actually. Oh, no, it is fire. It is fire. So, if I get both of these weapons here. And, oh. Ah. It combines them into a new weapon entirely. I thought it was, like, going to combine them into a similar weapon. But it's combining into a new weapon entirely. Honestly, I should have took power craving from this guy. Um to get more weapon mods going, that would have been pretty good. But then we can do this and we get the slugger. Oh, so this is kind of interesting. As this guy, we are going to be changing weapon pretty much constantly, I would expect. Uh, and I kind of like that. That's fun. Um, I always like uh, a, a, bit, a bit more of a like, sort of variety. And it kind of adds a little bit of challenge to the... Uh, to the character. Um, taking open mind for more weapon chests is going to be good as well. Uh, of course, we do have higher weapon drop chance from enemies, so we'll see more weapons in that uh, way as well. But so far, I, I gotta say, I really like the idea behind this guy. Yes, please. Let's combine those two. We got a triple blood rifle here, so we're going to be using a lot of weapons we maybe aren't so familiar with, or maybe use ammo that we're not expecting, because it doesn't stay within the class of weaponry that you are um, utilizing. Like, it's, it's just because a shotgun doesn't mean you're going to get another shotgun sort of thing. Our throwing butt here is getting even higher tier weapons when combining. Okay, that seems just really good to go for here. Um, I think the um, power craving for weapon mods and the um, the throwing butt for this guy are going to be things that I want to be taking pretty much every time. Uh, I would expect at least. Level 4, nice. Well, first of all, let's just put a bomb down there. And then we got a Split Seeker Pistol. Yeah, that's tier 5. Nice. I like that. Very, very nice. And we can go down here now. Wherever the pizza sewers is. There it is. Cool. Um, And then... I did say we wanted to open mine, so we'll take that. going to waste a lot of ammo this. We do get the golden screwdriver, which is very, very nice. And we should be able to easily combine two golden weapons here, actually. Um, pretty easily indeed. I don't know if there's any ammo chest on here. Oh, we can see inside weapon chests now. That's nice. So at the minute, we're not going to be able to combine anything, really. Oh, there you go. That's lovely. Bullet shotgun. Okay. But... If we hold on a minute, so there's our car. Cool, cool. I'm a little wary that I'm going to accidentally destroy the car here, so I'm being a little cautious as we go here. Do you know what? Let's just go and get out of here now. Um, and then we'll take Eagle Eyes. Eagle Eyes works with pretty much every gun, so I think that's a good idea. Right, this is problematic because my, my weapon is not doing a great job of shooting at the things I want to shoot at. Okay. It's all it's all going okay now. It's kind of coming together. We need to find our uh, golden weapon chest, which I think we'll get more than one of. Hyper rifle. Uh, we did get our new skin there from get, grabbing the hyper rifle. Now, it is still cursed, so we've got to be... A little more careful about this, but yeah, we do inst we do indeed get two golden weapons. Very nice. So I should I should actually remember that grabbing open mind before coming down here is incredibly valuable and something I should not take lightly uh, because we can get extra golden weapons. So if I'm ever trying to like get myself a good amount of golden weapons unlocked for for future runs, that's gonna be a really really good way of going about it. Good stuff.
Yeah, I like the fact that we get two ammo chests as well here. Let's just annihilate this guy real quick. Quickly, we've got blood rifle, we've got snake gun here. So let's get the snake gun and combine these two into the energy scythe. Very nice. Okay, so we can we can get up to high tier weapons very quickly here. Energy scythe, I really like the idea behind. I mean, the scythe weapons are just really fun anyways. This might be one of my favorite characters thus far, you know. Uh, so we'll take power craving because we're going to be getting new weapons all the time. Now, the only thing about this is the ammo consumption is rather high. Good. Use this weapon just to not waste my energy ammo. Good. Grab that. Grab that. Another hyper rifle here. I think we'll combine again, and this time we get a wave gun. Which seems to be shotgun ammo. And this time we get an assault blood launcher. Dude, I'm. This character is a lot of fun. This character is a lot of fun. I'm really, really liking this. Hot and fast, crazy world of just constantly changing weapons. I bet I'm going to see a bunch of weapons I've not really seen before as well, which is always fun. Beautiful stuff. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, so let's take the penetrator here. But first of all, let's uh, use this on this guy to get him deaded and not die while we're in the middle of all that. And let's do this again. And we get ourselves the fat machine gun. Ooh, we're up to tier 16 already. This thing seems incredibly good. Just be a little careful here. See, the, the problem now is, do I actually want to trade this thing? Now, I can't put it down to, like, trade other things, so I'm kind of stuck with it. I'm getting some cursed ammo here and there as well. I'm really liking this. I am using quite a lot of ammo per shot with this thing is the only thing. I think getting some perks that work with bullet weapons would be advantageous for us. But we could just combine it with an energy screwdriver. And, um, we got a golden Kraken pistol. Very nice. I wasn't expecting. That's tier 18. So we can create golden weapons this way as well. And we get ourselves the... Oh, oh we, we, got, we got a pretty hefty... Uh, a pretty hefty tier reduction there. I'm not sure if that's because I grabbed something lower tier and tried going off of the back of that. Probably is. A little bit of a shame there, but we can always build it back up. Um, we'll go Puffy Cheeks here. And we'll try and build up. But yeah, I think Open Mind is going to be something that we always want to be taking here. Oh god. Who's the... I guess who's the guy firing the missiles? The golden one of you boys. Okay, this could be a death for us here if I'm not careful, so let's play it safe. We are all good. Right, so we get ourselves an energy scythe here. Combined, and we get ourselves a slug cannon. And we combined with this, and we get ourselves a pop disperse gun. Ooh. And we get a frost flare gun, and we get ourselves a super flugger. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, this is definitely my favorite character. <laughs> 100%. Of the modded characters I've tried thus far, this is definitely my favorite character. <laughs> right, so... We'll take... Honestly, weapon drop seems like a really good idea. Whoa, who the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm not sure who that guy was, but he scared me. Luckily, we killed him in a single hit. Only thing right now is we are going to be expending a lot of ammo. So we are going to have to be on it with the ammo drops. Yeah, you're dead. You're not dead. Wow. That is surprising to me. You are now, though. Unfortunately, we are almost completely out of ammo, so we're going to have to take a bit of a risk here. And make our way out and away over this way. 
for now, let's sort of grab that and merge into the Ultra Screwdriver. Okay. So I wonder if, is tier 18 the maximum tier a weapon can be? This costs rads. Okay, we're going to have to merge this. Oh, nope, we got the van cannon. <laughs> what in the absolute fuck is this? The van cannon. Oh my goodness. Gotta say, was not expecting this. I don't even know how best to use this. This seems like such a hard thing to uh, to fully utilize. Yeah, I gotta say the ammo consumption on this thing is insane. Um, it destroys rocks pretty easily. I'm kind of burned here. <laughs> no, okay, I gotta say, I was kind of burned there because of the ammo situation I had. But yeah, uh, if I go quickly go back to the main menu here. Da, 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 da. And make sure I'm on random, yeah. So now I can random between all of these. And our B skin is just him but gold. So C skin is four weapon mods to one weapon. Let's try and do that, shall we? We got a golden blood rifle here. This guy I'm, I'm guessing we're gonna get a lot of golden weapons with, but I really like him in gold. This is this is really cool. Yeah. Easily. Easily my favorite character. Blood pistol. Combine them up. We get ourselves a bouncer crash dude. How on earth did we get a tier 7 already? So maybe maybe it's not weighted the way I thought it was. Maybe it is somewhat random what you end up getting. Um, do, 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 do. Let's go with absorbing pause early. Like I said, we want to get open mind, thrown butt, and uh, the one that gives us weapon mods. They're all going to be real good as this guy. This thing's really good, though. Bounce or crash. I'm not taking a cursed weapon this time. That caused problems for us before. But I'd rather not deal with this time around. See, at this point, I don't know if this will give me a lower tier if I combined. Let me at least clear this stage first, and then I'll, I'll think about it. Because this thing's not, like, good direct damage. It's hard to know what to think, but yeah, I love being able to see more weapons per run, and this is just the most perfect way of doing that. Um, let's go with scarier face here. Let's do it. We got the jaw crusher, so we did get something better. So using two shotgun ammo per shot. It, seemed, it basically just seems like a double slugger, which is pretty goddamn good. Yeah, it does the same damage as a slugger as well. Got a grenade launcher again. You'll love to see it. Peace sewers is open. This thing with better accuracy would be really good too. Cool. We are good to peace the sewers it up. Pizza sewers, it is. Direct a grenade launcher. Yes, please. Let's see what we get. Auto explosive crossbow. God damn, that's kind of amazing. Um, I'm going to take a risk here and go with glass arm because that gives us the 40% damage bonus or around that. We do have lower health now, of course, but. I mean, just look at the damage we're putting out. <laughs> Ain't no need to worry when we're putting out this level of damage. Oh my god. Managed to walk into every shot coming my way there. That was lovely. Probably go with second stomach here just to keep our health going. Careful of that fire. That heals is lovely. Oh, the second stomach also increases the heal on the spores. Very nice. Now jackhammer's better here. I'm not going to um, merge yet because I just right now do not feel the need. 
Like, this is such a good setup. Cool. As soon as I run out of ammo, I might merge. Rabbit's paw, really good stuff. We'll take that. Only thing with this is the ammo consumption is obviously fairly large. So we've got to be a little wary of that. Okay. Health-wise, things ain't looking too hot right now. Okay, let me just quickly get in there. Thank you. What's this? Explosive assault rifle. Mm -hmm. Explosive weapons are just always good. I'm happy to have it. We'll go in here. Just leave it out. Good thing is we can, like, clear out the walls to sort of help us make sense of the world a little more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, didn't think you'd have much of a shot there, buddy. And then... Trigger Fingers is always good, of course. We'll take Trigger Fingers here. Right, so, use the Explosive Assault Rifle here against regular enemies. Honestly, this... I don't even need to merge weapons right now. I've just got two really goddamn good weapons that are just... slapping everything. Charge flat cannon. No thanks for now. Yeah, keep using this until we uh, until it starts becoming not so good. I think. Until I inevitably start hurting myself with it, maybe. Get out of here, you. Right, let's destroy that. Oop, didn't mean to go straight through there, but there you go. Reload speed on... This thing, yeah. Let's go for it. <laughs> Not much I can do to avoid that damage, but you should be dead pretty soon. Yeah. Very, very quick death there. There's lots of stuff that's, like, mergeable here. In fact, let's, uh, let's grab that and grab that. And merge these two and see what we get. Gatling Bazooka. I don't think I want that. Pretty happy with what I've got going on right now. I think I'll say. Okay. Baby, this is a fun run. Just gotta be a little cautious of where I place myself. And how I spend my ammo. Make sure I don't explode myself. Get my assault rifle out for a little bit here. Took the wrong ammo there. Oh well. Charge shotgun. No thanks. Okay. Uh, thrown butt. Yeah, I'll take thrown butt for later down the line. Not a thing right now, but it will be good. Beautiful stuff. As if this uses assault rifle ammo. Man. Very good bargain for money. Okay, take you guys out. Big boy, three best and you're done. Your cursed weapon here. Super hot revolver doesn't have a tear for some reason. I'm not quite sure why that is. Right, three, we go. Make sure to put my weapon mods on this thing. We're looking for four weapon mods. Kraken, yes please. So we will use this thing for now. Bloodline, I do like it. But yeah, I'm going to sneak with the weapons I've got to try and get those four weapon mods on. And then I'll switch after that. Or until I inevitably end up killing myself. I've got to remember I've got plus 40% damage right now. So although my damage seems really high, there is other things at play causing it to be so good. This guy should get absolutely demolished, I'd think. I really don't think this boss is long for this world. I did almost die there. Very nearly. 
Got away with it just about. Um, hmm. Plus 30% max HP. Uh, max damage went at max HP, sorry. That seems even crazier. There you go. Very quick time there as well. I'm really interested to see what our ultra is here. Okay, let's be careful here because... Th this is currently a very sort of easy situation to explode myself in, which I do not want. So there's my ultra. Good. Don't you throw that shit at me. I'm so tempted to start merging stuff, but... I want to play it safe right now. Okay, good. Is that not it? Okay, that is it. Good. Right, let's see what we got going on here. So, in every area a weapon mod spawns, double weapon mod effectiveness. Combining a weapon adds a mod to it. That is what I'm looking for. When upgrading a weapon, you also gain two armor. Max armor is three. Increase reload speed and reduce ammo cost for all weapons, excluding melee. Decreased melee swing rate. Reload and reduced ammo cost, that's really good. All weapon drops give you health, rads, and more ammo for all types. Picking up a weapon spawns lightning. Let's go with this first one here for the weapon mods. Um... I don't want the Morpho Hammer, it's kind of in the way here. This fucking Morpho Hammer. Yeah, this Morpho Hammer is in a terrible location for me right now. I want to do my weapon mod. There you go. We're on three now, so we only need one more. And we get our next, uh, what's it called? Beam shotgun. And then we can start uh, combining stuff a bit more wildly, I think. Well, this thing is carrying, baby. This thing is carrying. Yeah, one more weapon mod. So last time we unfortunately spawned, and I thought that was going to be the case every time. I sadly don't think it is. Dude, I, I don't even ever want to swap this thing. This thing's actually amazing. Right, where is my weapon mod spawn? Nowhere? Wait, I, I thought I said there was one every stage. Did I miss what? Did I miss it? I don't see it. Maybe maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's one every other... Oh, there you go. I, for some reason, don't have four weapon mods on this thing, and I'm not quite sure why. It just replaced one of my other ones. So how do I get four? How do I get four weapon mods on this thing? Because I was only allowed three there. So I'm not entirely sure. Unless I have to use that starter weapon that starts with one. Maybe that's the case. Anyways, let's finally merge these and get the laser bomb launcher, see how this does. I know that that was a really good thing and I probably should have just kept it, but... Toxic minigun. Heavy auto crossbow. The golden jaw splitter. The golden jaw splitter is going to be terrible on this next stage. It's good to get a golden weapon, but yeah.
not really the strength of weapon we are looking for here. That car's really wigging me out. Oh, fucking, I've got to fight an assassin. Oh my god, yeah, I'm so dead there. Holy hell, I knew that was going to be a quick death. But that, I'm, I'm not exactly sure how I, um, how I do it. The only thing I can think is maybe this weapon specifically can gain an additional mod. Maybe I've got to keep this weapon the whole time. It came with explosive on it, so there's a good chance we can do that. Let's let's try that, shall we? Let's try and stick with this one weapon. Try and build towards it with the mods we take. And see if that works. Yeah, with explosive, this thing's pretty strong too. I'm liking this. Obviously, we're able to block shots with it too, which is really nice. Right. What are we going for here? Go with scarier face. Lovely. Nice maggots out the way. Lots of nice rads. Good with enemies like that that spawn other enemies. The explosion just kills everything. Take that screwdriver, why not? I don't know how long I'm going to have to end up keeping this thing on me, but I will do it, and I'll take that as well. Okay, up this way, I think. Yep. No, thank you with your slicey slicey. Luckily, even even with the, the rapid fire rate of this thing, we're not running out of ammo anytime soon. We also opened pizza sewers randomly there. Don't know how I managed that, but I'll take it. Um, I'll take the elbow for the 30% fire rate. I think with this thing, that could prove to be very good. Okay, it just gives us another screwdriver. I was just wondering if maybe it gave you a different golden weapon if you already had the screwdriver, which would be a bit amazing, but that was it was unlikely, but I had to try. Okay, this is rough because uh, the car's in a really bad location. Oh, the boss had to spawn now, didn't it? This is going to be rough. Yeah, I'm probably going to die to the boss here. Oh, no, I got it, I got it. Good, good. Just trying to get all the rads I can from this stage before I go. Cool. Um, Resolving pause has been really good for us. I don't think I can get any weapon mods from in here, can I? I can sacrifice my weapon mod there, though. Sacrifice first weapon mod. Good to see that was changed to reflect actually what weapon mod it takes. Okay, running out of ammo here. I had not realised. Golden SMG, lovely. Liking all the golden weapons we've managed to unlock for this character. Makes a fun character even more fun. Especially because I'm imagining that means combining a golden weapon right off the bat is going to give you higher tier stuff earlier. Um... Go higher, max ammo. Honestly, the explosion thing here is kind of saving this, saving this thing's damage. The damage it's doing is not very impressive on its own. Okay, ammo is a problem again here. It gave us energy ammo both times there for some bizarre reason. Thank you. Luckily, we got this thing, which does a good bit of damage to him. Flame pop gun. Try that out. Why? Well, same ammo, though, isn't it? We don't want some of the same ammo. Yeah, get out of here, you. You gibbon. Okay, we're good. Come on, we need more, um... More of the things that let us get... What they're called? Mods. The vaults. 
We need more vaults. We're not really getting any at the moment. We've not had a single one so far. Okay. I'll take a double flame director, why not? I knew you were coming. I knew there was going to be a turret somewhere down here. Which wasn't sure where. Right. Where else are we looking? I hear I hear him. Over here somewhere. So I knew I heard you. There you go. Beautiful. Puffy cheeks, I guess. I don't realize the director weapons like buff the accuracy of things so much as well. That's nice to know. Okay, careful. Yeah, so far, weapon mod wise, things ain't going too hot, but we're uh, we're making our way through this run pretty easily. I say that. I was about to say. That. Then I get a car chucked at me. I know I don't have to use this thing right now, but. Like I said, it, it destroys enemy bullets, so it is pretty good. Not like it's bad. It's just a little bit weak on the damage front. Okay, I did just get saved there by something. Okay, health there saved me as well. Super cluster grenade launcher. Sounds dangerous. Sounds fun. Sounds like I've killed myself because of Puffy Cheeks. <laughs> I tried firing up Max Fire and forgetting that Puffy Cheeks stored two additional shots. Oh, that's pretty fun. Let's do one more because I'm liking this guy so much. But yeah, let me test something out. So for one, getting the extra weapon mod on top of this thing is very nice. But if I go through here now, what, what sort of tier weapon am I going to get out of doing this? Yeah, I, you get a high tier weapon right off the bat. Oh, and it maintains this. It maintains the weapon mod there. I wouldn't have expected that. Okay, this guy's going to end up killing me with uh, the explosives. I mean, I imagine I'm going to kill him pretty quick, but the explosives are a bit scary. We get ourselves a plasma rifle here. Yeah, it maintains the weapon mod. That's, that's really nice to know. Through here we go. Throwing butt, obviously. Um... Rabbit's paws, good. Don't really have a great weapon for down here, let's be honest. In fact, there's a good chance we just die due to my hubris. Yeah. <laughs> let's try that again. Okay, so tier 17 here. Basically, I need to spawn close to that skull, really. Yeah, I need to spawn close to that skull. Um, let me just quickly do a, a restart here. There you go, I spawned way close to it this time. Where's the weapon chest? Need the weapon chest quickly. Cool, cool, cool. Quick, 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 quick. Then I can go through here and I can get myself a disc or razor. That sounds very dangerous. <laughs> this won't get me killed at all. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> But this is a really cool tactic that I can take a golden weapon and use it to get a really powerful weapon off the bat. Now combining with a tier zero is obviously not ideal. Ah, uh, we missed it. I want to make sure I get it in there because I want to actually do some stuff in there. I realised I said I was going to end the episode a few thingies ago, but... Oh, we started with a regular pistol this time as well. Why? Don't start with a regular pistol. That ain't gold. Cool. In we go. And we combine and we hit the bouncer crasher. That has projectile speed on it as well. I think that's projectile speed anyways.
I don't... Did I, did I go to the right place here? I did not. Got a super Kraken gun here. We got the Bloodline now. Bloodline has been pretty good for us in the past. I'm a little bit worried about our current ammo situation. Considering we currently have none. Yeah, lovely. We get ourselves the Auto Seeker pistol now. Ow. And we get ourselves the Sheep on a Stick. <laughs> Which for some reason consumes ammo. But I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, this character is insanely fun. Uh is that why I couldn't have four? Do I need to have this to have four? I think I do. Um go with impact wrists for now. Okay, well, I guess I'm sticking with sheep on a stick for a little while then. If I survive this run, that is, but we'll see. This is uh, lightning ammo. Um, that one, energy ammo. You know what I meant. Okay, it's going good, it's going good. Um, we can take this as well, energy weapons deal even more damage. Let's take it. We are on this stage now, which has been notoriously a stage that I don't do well at. We do have a melee weapon though, which helps. We are on 1 HP though, which doesn't help. Let's try and keep our distance from certain enemies. More HP, lovely. I like the fact that's got an actual proper radius thing on it now. That's super goddamn useful. We should have a different weapon just in case. Throwing but we don't actually need right now. We're gonna take last wish for that revive. Okay, this stage scares the hell out of me. God damn shithead keeps hitting me. Oh my god, these guys. I got my revive on already. Need some distance from these pricks. That was tricky. That was tricky. Fireline. Fireline is good distance, so I'll take it. And keep some heavy distance from these guys with the fireline. Ooh, with, um, with shotgun on it, it's pretty goddamn good, actually. Okay, we've got cube boss here. He only moves diagonally, so as long as I'm above him, I'm pretty much fine. Fuck you. Nice. Okie dokie. Laser rifle, no thank you. Okay. I guess I'll take this. Ooh, we're down to the cheese world. Don't know why that guy was making bird sounds. He's not a bird. But I won't judge. Termite gun and car thrower. Um, so I think I can do this. I think I can take the Termite Gun. What does the Termite Gun do again? Termite Gun's really good, if I remember correctly. Let's take the Car Thrower. Combine these two into the Morph Hammer. Which uses Energy Ammo as well. And also has one mod on it. So maybe I'll take the Morph Hammer instead of this thing on a stick. And we've got the Thermite, or Termite weapon, should I say. 
Termite's good because it just lets these things do the work for me in terms of finding enemies and stuff. Beautiful stuff. Okay, I'm happy, I'm happy. What's the morph hammer do then? I'm guessing it turns into the sheep still, but how is it better than the sheep on a stick exactly? Well, it's got freeze on it for one, which is a huge bonus. Okay, I need to get off all this webbing so I don't get stuck. Oh, dude, this guy's kind of a dick. Okay, luckily we got him. With that weapon, he was not, not the easiest. Okay, this this thing this thing slaps. Unfortunately the thermite thing thermite thing isn't amazing. Not as good as I would have thought it would be, at least. Oh my god. Very nearly died against that dude. Yep. Good health there at least. Heavy pop rifle. Can't take that right now. What do we want to go for here? Trigger fingers should be pretty good with melee at least. Dude, this thing absolutely slaps. I've got to remember I've got the energy thing going on, so I'm doing more damage with energy weapons, but this thing still slaps. Gotta be a little wary about the big doggies. But when they... When they pounce on us... We are able to destroy them. Alright, let me in there. Wow. That guy did a lot of damage to me. Boys, go, go find what's going on over here. Help me out, sunshines. Bouncer, Radiation, Bouncer, and Morph. I, I guess I'll go with Bouncer then. Oh, dude. Okay, I, I forgot about him, so I'm glad the game gave me a second chance here. This does now mean that I am going to once again need a, a thingy, though. Um, the other mod. Bullet Crash. We got ourselves the Assault Flugger. I'm going to need my thingy again. Uh, not Patience, but, you know, the other one. The one that lets me attach weapon mods. I'm going to need that again. To get four. I don't know how effective this is right now, but I'm doing it. It doesn't seem super effective considering I'm getting hit a lot. The flug is out of ammo, so I'm all out of luck. Yeah. Unfortunate. We'll try and get it next time, but so far, favourite character. I really love it. Also, by the way, I haven't been mentioning it in the past few videos. Thank you once again. I know my screen's black at the minute, or... It might be, I don't know, I'm sorry. Um, but we do have uh, a new thumbnail for this character, and I do want to make sure I shout out who did the thumbnail, because I feel bad if I don't. Um, this one was by... W, as it says on my Discord. It's not by W, one second. I apologise. When you're in a streamer mode, it, it, it covers people's names, and it's stupid. Um, where is it, where is it, where is it? I'll get there eventually, people. I apologise. I apologize. Okay, I've, I've, I've lost it. I've lost the plot. I don't know where it is. I'm sorry. I was just trying to give someone a shout out. Where the hell is it? I can't see it. I re what the hell? I, I posted their name somewhere. I really apologize to this person, but streamer mode is being a dick to me. I don't want streamer mode on. Go away. How do I turn streamer mode off? 
Streamer mode enabled. Streamer mode disabled. There you go. WPW. There you go. Finally. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know I did. I'll see you guys in the next one.